22 young women, a part of the 39-member graduating class of the University of the West Indies, are embracing their success. In this report, they share details of their ongoing efforts to make a positive impact in the healthcare system. Here's that report. Two Grand Bahamian women are now gracefully adorned in white coats and have rightfully earned the title Doctor. This after recently graduating from the University of the West Indies. One of them, Dr. Rebecca Mader, who at the tender age of 17 got her start, moving to Trinidad and Tobago armed with a suitcase and dogged determination. I saw a door opened where the government um, sponsored students that went to the University of the West Indies to study medicine. And I figured this would be the quickest and the cheapest way in order to become a doctor. So that's what I did. My mommy was terrified. She cried hysterically when she um, left me there. Along the way, she says she was confronted with major trials. In 2016, one of my closest uncles, he took sick and he passed away in January of 2017. So that was the first hurdle. My grandmother was then diagnosed with stage four cancer. And then my mother, she had her share of illnesses along the way. So all of that pushed me um, towards what I wanted to become, um, when I wanted to become a doctor. Now, after years of studying, the pain once felt has transmuted to tears of joy. Mador is now a first first generation graduate and the only doctor in her family. And I'm just so grateful to God that I was able to start this. And now I know that so many, um, what we what we call generational curses um, or just boundaries that generations may have seen is now broken. Since a child, Dr. Janae Burrows knew she wanted to be a doctor, drawing inspiration from her late uncle, Dr. Haywood Cooper. And after some nine years of persistence, she too reflects on her journey. A major valley is the time that you spend away from your family. It takes a lot of sacrifice and a lot of schooling. But I would say that there are a lot of um, peaks as well. Being able to see the patients that you're helping, um, seeing a, making a difference in patients' lives, that in and of itself is very satisfying. The women are now set to begin one year of internship and look forward to making positive contributions to the nation's healthcare system. A lot of people are leaving and I think we need a lot more manpower. We need people to go off and get the innovative ideas and bring them back home. They leave this advice to other aspiring physicians. Put God first, and that is what I did. Despite whatever circumstances come in the way, you just have to remain grounded.